Oh my gosh, coach, it's summertime and I'm having a hard time making it to the gym. Now I do hear this a lot and it honestly pisses me off. <laughs> There's no reason why you can't make it to the gym and today I'm gonna tell you exactly how you're able to combat that not going to the gym and making the time. So number one is just like anything in life is that your time management needs to be at an all time high. I always say, put your workouts into your calendar, pre-schedule your workouts, then build your life around that. Get your workouts done first thing in the morning because if you get your workouts done first thing in the morning, at night somebody messages you, hey, let's go for a round of golf. You're like, yeah, I'm free. You know why? Because you already did your workout and you already did your work and now you can go and play. Number two is that you need to set some restrictions on yourself. Like you need to start having a hard bedtime. I get it, I'm the same. I'm out front, I'm playing with my kids. It's 10 p.m. I'm like, oh my God, my kids are young. They need to go to sleep, but it's still light out. I get it. But if you have a hard restriction of Monday through Friday where you go to bed at the exact same time or you at least shut your TV off or you're inside, then guess what? You're going to have more energy for when you wake up and you're gonna be able to make it to your workout so that you can do your workout before you do work and then you can go and do golf or whatever it is. So the last thing is that if it's not a social event, it's just a random pop-up like friends wanna to get together for drinks or go for wings or whatever it is, it's not like a wedding or it's not like a, you know something that's super important that you absolutely have to be the first one there. You can still make time for the gym and you can go after the gym and still be sociable, okay? And it's okay to say no once in a while. I know you're Mrs. Popular or Mr. Popular, but once in a while, save yourself some money, save yourself some time, save yourself some weight gain, and just say no, right? Like plan your calendar, give yourself a couple, couple of social events to do. You don't have to go out every single night. In fact, it probably gets overwhelming and sticking. By the end of the summer, you're like, I'm done. Like nobody invite me to anything at all. So enjoy those moments. Like, you know, give yourself a couple social events, but then also say no. Because why? Because the gym is life, okay? If you wanna actually see results, if you wanna feel good and you wanna see a consistent number throughout the entire year and for the rest of your life, then guess what? there's gonna be some sacrifices. So if you wanna be the best version of yourself and you wanna see the best version of yourself for the next five to 10 years, if not longer, the rest of your life, then you gotta have better time management. You need to set restrictions even during the summer on when you should be going to bed so you have more energy so that you can work out first thing in the morning before you work and then when those social events arise, plan them to make sure that they do come after the gym and you've got all your work done and then once in a while, it's okay to say no.